So next is the introduction of PEAK, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about PEAK. I'm one of the faculty members at PEAK and teaching Japanese language. Let me share the screen. So, so PEAK students major in one of two programs, the international programs on Japan in East Asia and the international program on environmental sciences. All of you are interested in natural sciences. I'm going to focus on my presentation on the international program on environmental sciences, which we usually refer to as ES. Okay, both programs result in the award of Bachelor of Liberal Arts program, and we welcome around 30 new students every year. That is, we accept approximately 15 students on ES. All courses are taught in English, so no knowledge in Japanese is required when you apply, so don't worry about that. So however, you are required to take Japanese language courses once you join PEAK program. And so PEAK is a wonderful opportunity for you to take a science-based degree and learn Japanese at the same time. Okay, students study here at Komaba campus for four years. The top left is a Komaba campus in spring. In 10 days, around 10 days, I think, we will see the Sakura uh, cherry blossom here. And to the light at uh, the peak students who come from the various countries and regions around the world. The bottom left is a scene from the a school festival performing um, craft and circle activities. And the bottom right is a Shibuya intersection at night located in two train stops from the Komaba campus, a 20 minutes walk away. Okay, there are programs around the world that specialize in environmental sciences, but it is the best studied in Japan, why is that? In Japan, we have long history of dealing with environmental issues, currently global warming, air pollution, and abnormal weather as a problem, but Minamata disease and Yokaichi asthma became problems in Japan in the late 1960s, as you may know. Since then, researchers in Japan have been tackling these issues. In Japan, we also have cutting edge science technologies and track record on green technologies. Moreover, in University of Tokyo, we have many environmental specialist designers and leaders on our faculty. At UTokyo, every undergraduate student studied in their first two years studying the liberal arts programs. So consequently, students gain a broad knowledge base for their late study. Okay, during the last two years of graduate undergraduate studies, students will specialize courses based on their majors. Yes, students take courses that are categorized under the following six areas you can see on the screen. Okay, and we have a good news that we have, we can offer you very generous scholarship opportunities for peak students. For example, the University of Tokyo scholarship provides admission fees and tuition fees plus monthly expenses for four years. So it covers basically everything. So offers of scholarships are merit-based. The screening process is divided into two stages. Okay. So first stage is document screening and the successful applicants from the first stage are called for the second stage, which will be mathematics test and personal interview. Okay. PEAK was established to enable students who have not been educated in Japanese to have the opportunity 
to apply to the University of Tokyo, thus the university has established a requirement regarding the linguistics background of applicants based on their educational history. Basically, it is required most of your schooling be taught in languages other than Japanese. Okay, this is the list of application documents necessary uh, to apply to four peak. As for the standardized examinations, we accept many kinds of qualifications such as SAT, ACT, IV, A level, and others. Don't worry, we also accept the, um, the standardized examinations in your country, many, many standardized examinations. Okay, here are the accepted scores of some standardized examinations for ES applicants in 2010, uh, 2020 this year. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'd like to move on to talk about the potential of peak, about 40 of 40% uh, of ES graduate pass advanced level studies at graduate school with about half staying in Japan and half moving to other uh, top universities worldwide. About 40% go to industry. As you can see, we ES also has its own sister graduate program called GPEAK and some students continue to study at U Tokyo. Okay, here are study subject our ES graduate have chosen for their major, the broad interdisciplinary nature of ES degree means that students are equipped to enter graduate school in many different fields and to pursue their careers in many areas. This is end of my presentation. If you are interested, please visit our website to find out more information about PEAK. Thank you very much for listening. I hope the University of Tokyo can be your dream university. <laughs>